Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you in this channel. In this video, I want to speak about the story of Angulimal and how he got transformed by the Buddha and what are the learnings that uh, we can get from this. So Angulimal, the story of Angulimal, we, I have read in childhood. That time I did not, I was not close to Buddha's teaching, so I, I was just aware of uh, this particular story. But now, as I have come into Buddhism and the understanding of Buddha, Buddha, uh, I am getting new insights from this story. So just, uh, I will just uh, talk about the story a bit without going into finer de details. I have made some points so that I don't lose continuity in, the, uh, in this video. So there was a place called Savatthi. And in the Savati, in the jungles of Savati, there was a, a, a bandit named Angulimal. And Angulimal, what he did was he was he was known to be a tormentor and killer of people. Wherever he went, he killed like people like 10, 20, 30, 40 people at one time he used to kill. And people had a lot of fear uh, about Angulimal. And he used to have a garland of fingers of all the people that he, have, he had killed. He used to have a garland. Right, so, uh, so, so, so that was that's why it was known Anguli. Anguli is the Hindi word of finger. So it is Anguli Mal, Mala. Anguli Mal means the Mala. So its a name was his name became Anguli Mal. Right. So that was the fear that he had in the minds of people and killing, tormenting people, creating you know uh, all these things. Right. Now, and that time uh, Buddha came in that uh, there was a monastery. So Buddha used uh, came in that monastery and he was staying. And uh, uh, one fine day, uh, he Buddha decided that uh, he wanted to go for arms. So people told Buddha, Buddha, please don't go. He 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 will kill you. Uh, he is a he is roaming in this forest. So Buddha did not heed about what people said. And Buddha, in his uh, uh, mindful way, he started to walk for arms. And then Angulimal noticed him. And Angulimal came to know that there is someone Buddha who has come in this place. So um, Angulimal, when he noticed him, Angulimal ch chased Buddha. And asked Buddha to stop. But there was some psychic thing where the uh, Angulimal was not able to reach the Buddha. Right? So he what he he just in that frustration he said to Buddha, stop. And Buddha said, and this is the line that Buddha said, I have already stopped, you stop. Right? I have already stopped, you stop. Now the meaning of this, the deep meaning, and this when Buddha, when Angulimal heard that line, he got a total transformation. Right? He realized that what, how much harm that he has done in his mindless killing of people, in his mindless cruelty, what he has done. And Buddha told him that I have already stopped. That means I have all, I have done away with all my cravings. Right? I am now at peace. I am now still. I have now stopped. Angulimal, when will you stop? Well, when will you stop? Right? I have already stopped, but when will you stop? Right? So then when, he, when, when Angulimal listened to that one line, it transformed him. He immediately prostrated before the Buddha and he said that, Please accept me. I realize what mistake I have done. Please accept me in your order. And Buddha accepted him in his Sangha. And he also realized what I read about in the Angulimal Sutra. He realized the kind of tormentation that he has created by harming the various living beings. He realized that Buddha came in that forest just to help him uh, come on the right path. Otherwise, Buddha would not even have come. So he realized his mistake. He uh, he prostrated before the Buddha. Buddha accepted him in his order. Uh, he Angulimal became a monk, and then Angulimal started all the right practices. He started living for alms. He he left all the killing and everything. And then what happened was one day uh, Angulimal was uh, was going for arms, and uh, he he saw a lady who was giving birth. So he, the a lady in labor, and uh, Angulimal what could not decide what, and he realized the to torment that whatever he has given to the living beings, that is the torment he could realize. You know what happens is that once we become still, once we come on the on the path, we realize the the. The, we get the insight, vipassana in Hindi. We get the insight on what our words, our actions create, right? Till the time we are in, we are not still enough. Then we don't realize that harm our words and actions create. So he realized what torment he has created. 
बट ही वॉज नॉट श्योर वॉट टू डू सी वे वेंट बैक टू द बुद्धा बुद्ध सेट कि जस्ट टेल दैट लेडी दैट फ्रॉम द माई बर्थ आई हैव नॉट डन एनी इंटेंशनल किलिंग एंड मे द द फ्रूट्स ऑफ दैट द दैट कर्म हेल्प यू एंड योर चाइल्ड एंड सो ही सेट बेसिकली ही सेट टू बुद्धा हाउ कैन आई से दैट बिकॉज आई हैव डन इंटेंशनल किलिंग टू सो मैनी पीपल इन ऑल दीज लाइफ टाइम्स इन इन माई दिस लाइफ टाइम इट सेल्फ सो बुद्धा सेट दैट ओके टेल दैट टेल दैट लेडी दैट फ्रॉम दिस नोबल बर्थ दैट आई हैव गॉट from the time that i have got a noble birth so what my understanding is that from the time he got on this path of uh, of spirituality and he came on the buddha's path he has not done any such thing may that merit help you and your child so he went and said this right so and then and then he, he followed buddha's teaching and he became he 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 became an arahat arahat is a person who is free from ego free from all the cravings he became a arhat which is the goal of the buddha's following the buddha's path in the theravada tradition it's basically the goal to become a arhat right arhat right and then then when he was once he was going for arms then what happened was one day some people threw stone at him his head opened up and blood was dripping and when buddha saw this buddha said that these are your past karmas your past karmas could have taken you into hell realms and you would have suffered intensely but because of your coming on the right path you are bearing all these karmas in the here and now right so so this and then then so and he became a arhat right so this is basically the story of angulimal now the learnings that i want to share on this i have made just a few points on my learnings from this is that we have to realize that every one of us every one of us has a buddha nature right the buddha is in seed form in all of us and we only have to it only requires the right conditions to grow like in case of anglimal what happened was the moment he came into touch with the buddha the the right conditions originated for his buddha nature to come up and the insight to come up as to how much harm he has done to lot of people right so every one of us do not go friends do not go in self pity we all have buddha in us in seed form we only have to follow the path of the buddha and we have to generate the from the seed form that is in us we have to generate it make it part of our daily life right so we we have the buddha within us that is number one second do not judge we have to learn we ju- we arrive at quick judgments about people looking at them from their appearance their words and everything wrong right this is all learning that i am getting for myself what wrongs i have done in terms of judging people let's not judge anyone right we don't know their potential how you know they have the possibility of the from you know from being a criminal to a enlightened person so let's not judge anyone right uh, that is what we need to do do not discriminate between anyone buddha did not judge right buddha being a buddha he could have said that let this angulimal be angulimal there i have many other people whom i can teach and let them enlighten but buddha did not judge between a criminal Uh, and a lay person so who are we to judge do not judge that's why i like this thing about buddha's uh, knowledge is that buddha's knowledge is for anyone irrespective of caste creed religion it is not that you only have to be of this religion of this caste to follow the buddha's teachings he was a teacher right he is a teacher and his knowledge is for all of us so let's feel grateful about that okay then no killing we have to just ensure that we do not in this life see in past lifetimes whatever we have done we have done we were not having that awareness we did not have the buddha as our teacher but now that we have buddha as our teacher we will not kill anyone we will ensure that in our daily life look at our daily life we do not in, kill any person any living being even animals and we any sentient beings and we do not have any impose any cruelty towards any any living being any sentient being so we need to take care of that this is covered in the five precepts this is covered in the noble eightfold path right action so we need to ensure no killing right okay then buddha when buddha said uh, so recall the time when he said that how did uh, when angulimal said that i cannot say that from, from since this birth i have not intentionally killed any person so buddha said from the time of this noble birth you have not so buddha what he said is that always we 
are born anew every moment we are born anew right buddha's teaching the fundamental point of buddha's teaching is we do not have a permanent self everything is changing everything we arise anew so let's not get stuck in our past mistakes every moment we are fresh we are born anew right so we can uh, whatever past mistakes that we have done it's over now we are on the path we are new and it's we have to just follow the path right then we can also be an arhat it is not that oh, you know like if a criminal like anglimal can be an arhat by following the buddha's teachings we can also devote this life to following buddha's teachings and we can also be an arhat too we can also liberate ourselves from the cycle of suffering the 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 cycle of birth and death we can also let's have that determination we have to just focus on the triple gem let's focus uh, we buddha live in awareness dharma follow the right path and sangha be in a spiritual community of people when we are in a spiritual community like we are talking right now right uh, uh, we are you know we are part of the spiritual community right and lot of us all of us are there we are pursuing the single path of liberating ourselves getting putting an end to suffering so we are all in it together right okay then uh, that are what i read is that the fruits of the karma we have to bear so what we have to do is and i came across another uh, some uh, shot by another venerable master who said that if you have created a shit sandwich sorry for the word but you have to eat it all the past karmas that you have created accept it right and then now on this path what you have to do is do the path that buddha has given us right what the past is now manifesting in the present accept it and whatever the future is in our hands we need to create the right 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 things and go now from here to there right so i am just using a very good line where buddha said to anglimal when his head was was open and it was blood was pouring out and so anglimal would have thought that what wrong i have done like i have been now i have now chosen the path of peace chosen the path of buddha's teachings and still these things are happening people are put throwing stones at me right we also feel these things no in our day to day life that i am now good i am doing all the good things but why still my life is so difficult so buddha said bear with it brahman bear with it the fruit of the karma karma that you have burned that would have burned you in hell for many years many hundreds of years many thousands of years you are now experiencing in the here and now so let's feel fortunate whatever negative things happening in our life let's feel fortunate we could have been burning in hell for thousands of years but due to our decision of taking the right path as suggested by the buddha we are experiencing it here and now isn't that good isn't that a much 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 better deal as compared to burning in hell for so many hundreds of years right then uh, one my thing is that maybe the last learning that i will share is that friends we cannot be the like buddha buddha is buddha but thai what thiknathan the buddhist master said uh, that we can be part time buddhas even if i am able to cultivate 0.001% of what buddha's peace was i can there are many angulimals who are there around us we can also help our own transformation and we can also help others to to transform around us we have to you know we have to raise that energy from us our energy should be so high right that people around us can get transformed right so we have to be living buddhas right we have to try right we have to try right we are, and we are all in it together so i have given below the link of the in the the angulimal the sutra uh, the link is the, there as a reference if you want to read the complete sutra sorry if i have mi- missed any particular thing or not quoted it properly uh, whatever i could understand i have quoted that i hope this uh, video was useful do share your thoughts comments feedback thank you namo buddhaye namo buddhaye